the last part of your syllabus. So in this part, first, what do you mean by wave? I defined this particular term in thumb properties of matter also. Let me define you again. Suppose you have any stone. And if you throw this particular stone by giving it energy, it may move from its initial position to reach at this point, carrying out that much amount of energy and momentum. And then self, it moves from one point to another. So this is one way of transferring energy from any one point to another during this there is some displacement of this particular stone from one position to another. But suppose if there is string, wire, rope, in which <clears throat> if you strike or if you give energy to this particular particle, so it will tend to vibrate along this way. And this disturbance may propagate like this from one point to another to reach at this point. So in this part, particle is simply oscillating to and fro, simply up and down to create a disturbance which propagates along the medium without any displacement of matter particle from one point to another. So this is another way of transferring energy from one point to another without the displacement of matter particle. This phenomena of transfer of energy and momentum from one point to another is called wave. Matthew, is it clear? What do you mean by wave? Can you explain one more time? Not very clear. Okay. In first part, suppose I have any stone and by giving energy or momentum to this, it may displace from this point to reach at some new point this by carrying amount, carrying that much amount of energy and momentum, it may shift from its one position to some other position. But in this part, suppose you have any string, rope, wire. So if you strike this particular string by any hard surface, so there will be creation of disturbance like this, which propagates along this string. It means particle of this particular string vibrate on the up and down, up and down, up and down at their mean position, creating this disturbance, which propagates along the medium, but there is no displacement of particle of this point. It remains vibrating, vibrating up and down, up and down at this point, but the created disturbance may constitute energy and momentum, and it propagates along the medium to transfer it from one point to another. So this is a phenomena of transfer of energy or momentum from one point to another without the displacement of matter particle. Is it clear now? Yes, sir. Okay. So we can say wave is a phenomena of transfer energy and momentum from one point to another without the displacement of matter particle. So we mainly have three different types of wave. <clears throat> F 
first is electromagnetic second is matter wave and third is mechanical wave electromagnetic a wave which require any medium which do not require any medium for their propagation just like light which no need of medium for their propagation just like radiation matter wave a wave associated with matter particle wave associated with matter particle such as electron proton neutron these type defined by de broglie hypothesis and next is mechanical wave which need any medium for their propagation need any medium for their propagation just like sound mehreen in it out no sir okay just write it down Matthew, Dan. Yes. Sir. Okay. So in this chapter, we have to mainly define mechanical wave. So first question will be, <clears throat> what will be property of medium for propagation of mechanical wave? there should be some special property related to that medium so property of medium for propagation of mechanical wave trait first is medium should be elastic medium should be elastic it means it should offer some elasticity in mechanical properties of solid i defined you elasticity in three different ways young's modulus shear modulus and bulk modulus y g and beta 
these two elasticity is defined only for solid, which is based on elasticity in shape and shape is only defined for solid. So we can say for solids only. But bulk modulus, which is related to compressibility, it defines for all medium. Nahreen, in it out? No, sir. Next property of mechanical wave or propagation of mechanical wave through it should be medium should be inertia. It should be inertia to hold energy in it. And next, it should offer minimum opposition or friction. So there will be least loss or very less amount of loss in energy on propagating through it. So these three different main property related to pr propagation of mechanical wave through it. Just write it down. Matthew, down? Yes, sir. Okay. In doubt? No, no. Okay. Next is, on the basis of vibration of particle, we may divide wave into two parts. Suppose you have any soft spring. So we may apply force or may give this particular slinky soft spring energy in two different ways. In first part, on striking along this way, it may tends to acquire shape like this. like this. It means there is some position at which particle get crowded and there is some position at which particle gets separated from each other. So this particular point at which density is less is called a rare fraction. And this point when they get crowded is called compression. 
So if there is formation of compression and rarefaction so that particle of this point may vibrate along this way and propagation of wave or propagation of disturbance created by them will also along this way. This type of wave is called longitudinal wave. So this is vibration of particle and this is propagation of wave. Both are parallel to each other, then it is called longitudinal wave. Matthew, any doubt? No, sir. In second part, suppose if you hit this particular string along this way, so it will tend to acquire a shape like this like this so the uppermost part is called crest heels the lowermost part is called trough In this part, <coughs> particles are vibrating along this way and propagation of wave is along this way. And these two vibration or directions are perpendicular to each other. This is vibration of particle and this is propagation of wave. So this type of transfer of energy and momentum from one point to another is called transverse wave. Mehreen, any doubt? No, sir. Okay, just write it down.
Marine, Dan. Matthew, Dan. Yes, sir. Okay. So we have to define these two different types of wave individually. So first is transverse wave. You'll say a wave in which vibration of particle is perpendicular to the propagation of wave is termed as transverse wave. A wave in which vibration of particle is perpendicular to the propagation of wave is called transverse wave. <clears throat> so we have to calculate velocity of transverse wave. It depends upon elasticity in shape of body, which is defined only for solid, which is defined only for solid. Hence, it can travel through solids only. So next we have to calculate velocity of transverse wave. So next is velocity of transverse wave. Suppose this particular velocity defined for transverse wave created over any string rope wire may depend upon two factors. First is tension in the string and second, linear mass density. Consider velocity of transverse wave depends upon tension in string capital T and linear mass density that is called mu. So deduce a relationship of velocity related to this part. So let me define you how to calculate. According to dimension analysis, we may write V is equals to some constant proportionality factor, tension to the power X and mu to the power Y. So this is generalized expression of velocity related with tension and mu, that is linear mass density. Now, according to the concept of dimensionlessness, just write dimension of both these two quantities on either side. So for velocity, it will be m0 l t to the power minus one. And right hand side, we have k, which is proportionality constant. So it will be unitless term. So just neglect it. T is tension, which having same dimension as compared to force. So it will be m l t to the power minus two raised to x. Linear mass density is mass per unit length raised to y. So on rearranging, you will get m raised to x from this part 
and m raised to y from the second one, length raised to x minus y, and third, t raised to minus 2x. Matthew, is it clear? Yes, sir. So, from this part, according to the concept of dimension analysis, we have to compare the exponential of each segment. So, on comparing the exponent on either side, we have m raised to zero in left hand side and m raised to x plus y in right hand side. So we may write x plus y equals to zero. First equation for length having exponential l x minus y in left hand side we have one, and for t minus of two x equals to minus one. So x equals to one by two. So put this in first expression, x is one by two. So y will be equals to minus of x, that will be minus one by two. Now we have both x and y. Put this in the above expression and experimentally it was calculated k is equals to one. So v equals to one, t to the power x, which is one by two, and mu to the power y, which is minus one by two. So this mu containing negative exponential, so move it to its denominator. So it will be positive. Now we have same exponential for either term. So we can write t divided by mu having common exponential half. And this is also nothing but square root. So it will be t divided by mu. So this is your final formula of velocity of transverse wave created on any string y rule. Matthew, any doubt? Sir, no sir. Okay. So this is your final formula where t is tension, mu is linear mass density, and v is velocity created on that particular y. Just write it down.
Matthew, Don. Yes, sir. Okay, related to this last expression or velocity of transverse wave, which depend upon two factors, tension and linear mass density. Let me give you a question from any support this a string <coughs> is connected which is further joined to any pulley and then a block of mass 4 kg is attached at this point. Let's say this particular wire from A to B. <clears throat> so in this part, our transverse wave is created at E. If mu is one gram per centimeter, so find tension in string Second, velocity of transverse wave. Third, time taken by it to travel from A to B if AB is equals to 50 centimeter. Let me define you how to solve these different part. First, you have mu, that is linear mass density. So mu is equals to one gram per centimeter. So first convert this particular quantity in their SI unit. So we may write, one gram in kg as 10 to the power minus three divided by centimeter into meter as 10 to the power minus two meter. So it will become kg per meter. On solving, you will get 0 0.1 kg per meter. Matthew, is it clear? Yes, sir. Which of this particular factor in this part will be responsible to generate tension? So you will say this block attached at this particular point may experience gravity along this way. So it will be responsible to stretch this wire AB by this much amount of force. So tension in this string will be mass times gravity. We have mass four kg and value of gravity is 10, so it will become 40 Newton. Is it clear? Mehreen, any doubt? Matthew, any doubt? Yes. Now we have tension and we have linear mass density. Put the formula, velocity equals to root under T divide by mu and simplify it to find velocity. In next part, you have to calculate time taken by wave to go from A to B. So time taken equals to distance divide by speed. Distance from A to B is 50 centimeter. So you may write 0 0.5 and velocity for, from this above expression. Just put this term and simplify it, you'll get your answer. First, write it down to this.
Matthew, you got answer for velocity. It's a root 40, root 40. Root 40? No. We have tension that is 40 and mu is 0.1. Oh, so sorry, it. sorry, 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 sorry. I took the value wrong. So just remove this decimal, then you will get 10 in numerator. So it will become 400 root under and root under 400 will be 20 meter per second. Matthew, is it clear? Yes. Now put this in this expression and simplify it. So just remove this decimal and put n. 5 in 4 times will become 20. So it will be 1 divided by 40. So it will be... <coughs> 0 0.0, 0 to 5 seconds. Matthew, down? Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> we may transform this particular formula in some other form as well. According to volumetric <coughs> density, as rho equals to total mass divide by total volume. So it will be mass divide by area into length. This quantity mass divide by length is called mu, that is linear mass density, divide by area of cross section. So mu equals to rho times a. So velocity equals to root under tension divided by mu. So it should be equals to T divided by rho times A root under. You may transform this relation as Young's modulus divided by rho. So from this part, we can say velocity of transverse wave will depend upon elasticity in length, and that will be defined only for solid. Hence, it can travel through solid that is on a string, wire, or row. Is it clear? Yes. Just write it down. Mehreen, any doubt? No, sir. Okay.
Matthew, Dan? Great, sir. Okay. Sir, Dan. Okay. Next is longitudinal wave. So in this part, a wave in which particle or vibration of particle is parallel to the propagation of wave is called longitudinal wave. A wave in which particle vibrates parallel to propagation of wave is called longitudinal wave. So we have to calculate velocity of wave associated with that, this part. Velocity of longitudinal wave depends upon <clears throat> bulk modulus that is beta and volumetric energy density or volumetric density that is rho. So using dimension analysis, we have to calculate its expression. So we may write velocity equals to some proportionality constant k beta raised to x and rho raised to y. So from this expression, according to dimension analysis, we may write velocity as m0 l t raised to minus one and left hand side and right hand side we have k proportionality constant so it will be in unitless term so just neglect it beta is bulk modulus having dimension of pressure ml minus one t minus two raised to x density mass divided by volume raised to y. So on solving, you will get m raised to x plus y, l raised to minus x minus 3y, and t raised to minus 2x. Matthew, is it clear? Yes, sir. So on comparing the exponent on either side, we can say, on comparing the exponent of same quantity on both side, for m we have x plus y equals to zero, for l minus x minus three y equals to one, and for t minus of two x equals to minus one. So on solving, <clears throat> you will get x equals to one by two but this in first part so y equals to minus one by two now putting these two term in the above expression you will get Velocity equals to value of k is numerically equals to one. So beta raised to x, which is one by two, and rho is to y minus one by two. So you may write beta to the power one by two divided by rho to the power one by two, having same exponent. 
so it will be beta divided by rho to the power half or which is equals to root under beta divided by rho equals to bosti matthew is it clear yes sir okay just write it down so you will be asked to derive these two velocity related to transverse wave and longitudinal wave Matthew, done? Yes, sir. Now, in last part, velocity equals to beta by rho. So this beta also defines you <clears throat> elastic factor of that particular medium and rho defines inertial factor. So we may write velocity is equals to root under elastic factor by initial factor. Next, since this particular velocity depends upon bulk modulus or simply compressibility of that particular medium, which is defined for all medium, hence longitudinal wave can travel through on medium. So from this part, we can write since velocity of longitudinal wave depends upon beta which defines compressibility which is defined for all medium Hence, it can travel through all medium. So question related to this part will be, why transverse wave is limited to solid only? 
but longitudinal wave can travel through all different medium. So your answer will be this. Matthew, is it clear? Yes. Okay, just write it down. Mehreen, any doubt? Okay. Shab, any doubt? Matthew, done? Yes. Okay, so let's stop here for today. In next class, I will define you factors affecting velocity of longitudinal wave on the basis of which we may define various affecting factor of velocity of sound which behaves at longitudinal wave, okay? Okay then, take care, good night.